I am still finding it difficult to talk into the camera to you guys. This is my backyard. Some beautiful ferns. I just love the little baby fronds. Aren't they gorgeous? So gorgeous. It's 11 11 today here in New Zealand. We're ahead of everybody else. The energy was high. The wind was blowing, the sun was shining. I managed to get a lot of gardening done and watering and I'm just filling my water tank at the moment. And then I use a very long extension cord. That's the water pump. And the hose goes into the river. So pretty around here. See if it's, I can't actually hear it filling. It must have stopped. Oh, we're full. Look at that. I'll put some Agni Hotcha ash from the home fire or the Agni Hotcha fire that we do here. And that just helps to keep the bacteria, any bacteria, clear from bacteria and mold. And it must work because oh, hang on, I need two hands to do this. Because I'm still alive after living here for two years, so oh my goodness. <laughs> hang on a minute, sorry guys. I'm gonna let you look at the trees for a second. It's a good day to stay out of the mind, but if you can't stay out of the mind and quieten the mind down, then stay in gratitude. Gratitude is a portal, and if we want to be raising our energy and frequency, then gratitude is the one that will do that for you, for sure. So today I've been practicing gratitude. And yeah, even if you think you haven't got anything to be grateful for, because I know it's tough times for many on the planet at the moment, there's always something you can find to be grateful for. There really is. I am grateful for my body. Even though, even with its aches and pains, I am so grateful that I'm able to fill my water tank up and do some gardening. And I'm so grateful for the water and for where I am, where I'm living. And in fact, that's how I managed to manifest living here, to be honest, was through gratitude. I started practicing gratitude even though I wasn't here yet. I knew that if I kept imagining it and being grateful for every little thing I had in the meantime, that this would eventuate. And it all does in divine timing, you know. So, The cows came over for a visit today, this morning. It was so beautiful. They just stroll past here very quietly. I gave Nandi some scraps. He loves eating the compost.
I woke up this morning and I could notice my mind was wanting to drag me here, there and everywhere. You've got this to do, you've got that to do. A sense of overwhelm comes over me again. I just, it's a good practice to stay with the breath in, out. Tuning into the river, tuning into the bird song. These guys know how to do it. They are experts at just being. Mmm, that's good, hey, Nandi? Yeah. Beautiful guy, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> love heart on this forehead. So full of love. Hi there, guys. Have a wonderful 11-11.